Welcome to another beautiful episode of Bro Dude or Tyler. I am in full lockdown quarantine mode. Same here. Your right arm's looking pretty buff over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, nowadays it's my left too. I'm trying new things. Ambidextrous, so, right? huh? I'm Sitting on your hand, making it numb. I'm ex- <laughs> doing the stranger, huh? I'm experiencing new things. Uh, we're going to mess around a little bit. You know, shoot the shit, fuck around. We ain't, see yeah. what ha- let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a crazy episode, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, get ready for a doozer. Tyler, <laughs> take it away. You mean Steven, take it away? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I already skipped to the fucking end of the episode. We're already done, folks. That's yeah. where, that, see, that's where Dan would be like, huh? yes, the typical podcast joke. Everyone would say a joke. Okay, <laughs> the end of the episode. Steven. Yes, rip, Andrew. Take rip it. Away. it. Oh, that's right. I have the soundboard today. Uh, What am I gonna play? (laughs) (laughs) I was waiting for that after that uh, that intro there. Uh, Uh, I'm not gonna go fuck. There's a new fart sound effect here. I'm not gonna go fucking. Oh yeah, you didn't play it, did you? (laughs) Mm -mm. I was waiting for you. I did. I did. I did. Um. Okay, Tyler. (laughs) What's going on? Not much, man. It's been, like you said, full quarantine mode here in beautiful Southern California, you know, which is a shame because uh, the weather's getting real nice. It'd be a nice time to go to the beach. I don't know if the beaches are open back up yet, but uh, no, 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 no. seems like a good place to social distance where uh, you could be easily more than six feet apart from somebody, but they want to keep them closed for some reason. I don't know, but uh, for some reason, <laughs> what could be? Oh, well, wait, I mean, when you go to the loud. beach, you're not fucking like. You're not going to set up your fucking campsite right next to the person next to you, you know, unless it's really crowded that day. But uh, typically, when you go to the beach, you're pretty far away from other people. No, not only yeah, you are, but then when there's a lot of people on the beach, you get a whole congregation of people. Yeah, it could, it could get <laughs> crazy. I, th- I think with the weather being as good as it is now, I think people are just going to say fuck as it. As good as it is? The fucking 100 degrees is uh, good to you? Well, well it's good beach here. Weather. At the beach, it's 70, it's right? That's true. Probably. I yeah. know. <laughs> Sweating over here. He's dying for those 40 degree days. Yeah, just last week it was raining. Cats and dogs. Now it's just <laughs> hot as fuck. I know. It's some bo- baby back b- b- bullshit. But that's Southern California. We get the bo- best of both worlds. That's why everyone wants to be here. Isn't that true? That's that is true. The weather is nice. I mean, around the beaches, but everywhere else. I mean, California is fucking huge. Most people that don't live here, he said, Southern California. Yeah, Southern which California, which is also big. But I mean, the beaches are pretty nice until you get like way, way up north. But yeah, the, the beaches be- here are nice. They stay like, right at about seventy. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's a big reason why people want to come here. Uh, okay, so. It's- being in quarantine, I figured I would try what every other gamer was trying in quarantine and tried to play Animal Crossing, the new <laughs> the new game Animal Crossing that came out on Nintendo Switch. Have you heard of this game, Tyler? I have heard of this game. What do you th- What do you think of it? I want I want to. I'll be straight well, up. Well, well, ex- uh, uh, let me explain what the game is. So, Animal Crossing. I've always knew about this game over the years. There's a bunch of different. I haven't. I just realized I had it on Nintendo DS, and, and I, I just remembered, and I didn't realize it. I never, I've never played it, but um, it's uh, you're basically this dude or gal who builds their own town, I guess, or farm. Uh, okay, so so based on the one I actually played, you're on an island, and you're and you start out with in a little tent, and you build it up to a house, and you you develop a, an island. Pretty cool concept. I mean, I like the sim builder kind of games. Like, I've always been into uh, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, uh, what's that one? Uh, Politico. I 
forgot. Well, you're like a dictator, basically. Civ civilization. No, or? something tycoon. Where well, you're, well, you're, you're a dictator of like a whole like country, and you develop it and everything. You could choose to like, as if you're running a country, and you could choose to be an evil dictator, or you can choose to be, um, a good political ruler. simulator crisis. The only game I can think of is like Civ. Civ. Tropico. Oh, okay. Tropico is what it's called. Tropico. I used to like to play that game, all the stuff. Of, and so that's why I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll like Animal Crossing. Well, I played it. And like, honestly, it's when you, when you think about like city building games, you're thinking like detailed, a really fucking uh, extensive, extensive gameplay. All these options to choose from, right? Yeah. Well, Animal Crossing is that stripped all the way down and as if it's for like your casual kid player. So basically like like a watered down strip. Yeah, like watered like down if you wanted to put a building in a certain spot, you only have like predetermined fucking slots to put shit in. Like you can't you can't really customize it. Is everything's just predetermined already? Oh, well, kinda like that, but it just doesn't have it doesn't it's not as in depth as your typical tycoon games. And it just felt super watered down. But uh, the fans are crazy for it. They, there's like a whole cult following for it. There was, I remember before it came out, people were literally writing uh, uh, letters and a petition asking the developers, please, since we're in quarantine, can you please release the game early? This would be very, I'm like, are you kidding me? You guys need to <laughs> chill. Like the way they wrote it, it was like, you could tell it was coming from the heart. Like, Sounds like some simps. But <laughs> I know. But, please, please. But what is it on? What? Switch, Nintendo Switch. Okay. But impressively, it sold more digital copies in March, March alone, than any console game ever. Dang. Holy shit! Ever, ever. And of course, you know the quarantine has something to do with it because a lot more people are at home; they need more shit to do. But it sold over three million copies in March, tripling the number of sales of its predecessor doom that's that's insulting during its launch month <laughs> i know it's crazy it has a wider reach you know it's a kid game so that's true but but again it's like i it's so almost for me it's almost like surface level it's like i didn't even get that far into the game until i realized okay yeah this isn't for me this is just <laughs> i it's it's not i saw like a couple videos and i was like yeah i'm, I'm good I'm I'm totally good. I was getting my bananas, and then I got a mango, and then I planted the mango tree, and then... <laughs> um, it just doesn't look fun at all to me. It looks... Uh, I, I don't know. When you're used to playing fucking... I, like, I, I honestly wouldn't... I don't know who I would recommend this game to. I honestly don't know. Because it's so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who would want to, but a lot of people do. Would you say there's better games for... Younger player. I mean, obviously, it looks like it's tailored for younger players. I don't know if it actually is, but it's supposed to be. But you know, the the whole cult of it's like the same people who the older people that are into Disney. There's a lot of pe older people our age that are into like little cutesy games like Animal Crossing and shit like that. Yeah, that whole aspect. Um, but yeah. So, have you played it? No, I haven't played it. Uh, Girlfriend has it. Erica has it, but. How I don't she know if she's like still it? playing. She was playing online with her sister at one point, I think, which she said it was fun, but I haven't really seen her play it much so, since then. So maybe it's a female game. Sorry, Dan. It's a game <laughs> just for females. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's totally, it, I don't see the appeal. Like this is fucking other, random. Other popular games for kids or not even kids, but just other popular cartoony games like this, mm -hmm. uh, such as like Minecraft or Fortnite oh or so other games like that, those look way more entertaining to me mm. than this. This doesn't look That's, yeah, at yeah, all yeah, entertaining. Minecraft what is, is the point of the game? I don't get you, it. You like build up your island. It's just a sim? It's, it's like, like a sim, yeah. You build up your island. That's what I mean. So it, that's why I don't like it because I like sims, but sims are usually very in-depth. This is just a one yeah, down Sims, Sims. So it's like, what's the point? Yeah, Why Sims was fun because you could like custom build your house and say, I'm going to put a wall here and put a bathtub here. 
Why is it called Animal Crossing? What I don't know. What does that have to do with animals? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure. Are you, is that like your day, character? Or are you an animal? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, there's uh, you're not an animal, but there's people that are in charge of the island that look like animals. Mm. But I'm pretty sure, like way back in the day, the first one, um, had maybe more in depth of animals. Uh, it looks like there's a bunch of animal characters in here. Like I said, I didn't get that far, and I was like. Mm. Whack. <laughs> yeah, the player character is a human who lives in a village inhabited by various anthropomorphic animals. Carrying out various activities such as fishing, bug catching, and fossil hunting. Fucking <laughs> whack. That sounds lame as fuck. Yeah. Fossil hunting. <laughs> Sims was fun back Let's in the day. catch some bugs and hunt some fossils. <laughs> if I was going to play a game like that, like town building and base building kind of shit, I'd probably just try Frostpunk. Have you heard of that game? Oh, I've heard of it, but I haven't really... It looks pretty good. Is it base it's like building? A, it's like a city building game, like a civilization kind of building game. It looks pretty good. Pretty good. It's on Steam, or it's on Xbox Games Pass, too, which if you have Xbox Game Pass, play that shit for five bucks. But what about GOG? Oh, ah, good old me. games or something like that, right? Yeah, I think it's good old games, which is CD Projekt Red's uh, launcher, I think, right? Uh I think they have a stake in it or something. Oh. But Animal Crossing, the first one came out on Nintendo 64. I didn't even realize this. It was in, oh, it was released in Japan in th- 2001 on the N64. It was enhanced and re-released on the GameCube. No wonder why. I heard it, yeah. When I heard that it beat out Breath of the Wild in Switch sales, I was like, holy shit. People are loving this game because Breath of the Wild was the number one seller indefinitely since this game came out that is much. surprising but also not surprising because when i i never finished breath of the wild and didn't get very far because it, that lost my interest too did you play that one uh very briefly everyone jizz their pants over it but it's like once you've played witcher or any <laughs> other game that's just far superior to these everyone loses their minds over these games these zelda games and these nintendo games they have such a cult-like following but in my opinion, there's way better games out there. Witcher 3 is better than every Zelda ever, probably. Ooh. How dare you? I mean, Ocarina Ooh. of Time mm-hmm. has a special place in my heart. Mm-hmm. How Come dare on, you? <laughs> you can't. Can. Ocarina of Time, yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. But at the, when I played it, I was, what, like 10 years old? You know? It's like, you it doesn't you- have that same... Well, because uh, because Witcher Three is more for adults, and you're an adult now, and yeah. so it's like, okay, yeah, this I identify more with this these adult themes, whereas Zelda was not made for kids necessarily, but obviously it was marketed towards the younger crowd. Yeah, uh, because mostly the younger crowd were playing video games back in the day. So I I mean, obviously I'm going to go with Witcher being better, but. Ocarina of Time is still a classic. It is a classic. It's hard to same, top that. Same reason why Mario, Mario 64 is a classic. Yeah. They need to remake that one on Switch. That one was good. Yeah. I had that shit. That would be dope. What, have you been playing your uh, your your what's it, VR headset recently? Uh, the last thing I played was Half-Life Alex, which we never really actually went over. Half-Life Alex is pretty oh, yeah. amazing. Did you ever review Half-Life Alex? No. No. Give, give me your Half-Life Alex. It's Alex amazing. Review. It's fucking amazing. It's like uh, Valve knocked it out of the park with half-life alex really it's, it's worth buying the headset for alone really yeah. how much is the headset i got mine for 350 bucks and uh there is massive price gouging going on it's no surprise here it's the number one vr it's the number one selling vr game ever made so uh there's a reason why there's price gouging going on with these vr headsets right now i like i said i found or I bought my headset during a Black Friday sale for 350 bucks, the Oculus Rift S. When I went on eBay the other day, I was seeing headsets going for double that, like 600, 700 bucks, Damn. pretty much. Let me look it up right now. That's crazy. On eBay, Oculus, what's the day today? Oculus Rift S. Uh, April 25th. April 25th? Okay, yeah. April 25th. Holy shit. Right here, the number one, 137 sold for $799. Dang. 137 were sold at that price. People are paying more than double what I paid, plus tax, which that's fucking crazy. <clears throat> yeah, but if you go with the Valve Index headset, 
Mm-hmm. Those are sold out right now, though. Aren't are they? they? Let me see. Let me add it to my. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this too. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say it's sold out. Let me see. 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 Okay, so is that one more expensive? The index? Oh yeah, it's a thousand dollars. Well, the mm. headset alone is five hundred bucks, but the whole kit is a thousand. What else is there? Like no, it's nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Oh, sorry. Excuse it me. With, it comes with the knuckles, patented knuckles. I think it's more precision. Like, yeah, there's like, way more precisions. Like you can flip people off and shit with the Valve Index. You can't do that on the Oculus Rift. <laughs> Got it. I, I need that for when I get into virtual chat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck you. I know. I haven't played. Uh, Why haven't you gone VR to chat? chat? Yeah, I should get VR chat. Dude, yeah. you need. Oh, it's a whole game you have to buy. It's a whole. It's you don't have to pay for it. I think it's free. But yeah, I would. For free. anyone that doesn't know, VR chat is. Uh, you probably you might not be familiar with it, but. You might be familiar with one of the memes that originated from VR Chat, which was uh, the "Show me or do you know the way?" The the knuckles, oh, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you know the <laughs> way? <laughs> Speaking of knuckles, yeah. My son even knows that. Yeah. Do you know the way? Um, let's see what the Oculus Rift is going for. Please tell me you've played Bar Fight. I have, and it's fucking great. <laughs> VR Bar Fight is Dude, fun. I need, to, I need to go over. You got to come over now. and try it, man. It's I fun. Fucking try it. You got to try it. Oh, people listening, it's quarantine. They better not go over. They better not. <laughs> Wait, go is is he really? Wait, is, he's going to put. Why his... am I listening to this? So they're together right now. <laughs> is it, we're essential. Okay. We are yes, deemed yes. essential by the government. Very. Look at this guy with the black eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, VR VR Bar Fight. We, can, we a, have to make a video. We have. <laughs> Hold on, look at he's flipping them off. <laughs> we have to make a video of us playing this fucking drunken bar fight. <laughs> yeah, we should. Bro oh, Duder, drunken bar fight. Great. We got to set it up here, Steven. Bro Duder Studios. Ooh. I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Look at this shit. Uh, oh, my God. That's crazy. Okay, Oculus. Oh, this is the Quest. Never mind. That's a little Quest bit more. Quest is a cheaper one? I think the Quest is more expensive. Mm. But look at the Oculus Rift S, PC powered VR gaming headset. You click, like, you go on Amazon, there's no price even listed on here. Holy shit. Buy used, $659.99. What's the normal? I bought it brand new. Dude, I could sell mine and fucking make a profit on that shit right now. I should. <laughs> Shut up. I should. I'm going to go to my my uh, my purchase history here and screenshot it. I'll send it to you, Stephen. You can embed it in the video. All right. Definitely not happening. Happen. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. So you finished your Half-Life Alex review. Half-Life Alex is amazing. What's the story it's, about? I didn't beat it. I've I've only gotten so far and I don't want to spoil it. But it's basically supposed to be a prequel to or it's be, supposed to be between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Oh, okay. So, okay. All right. Um, okay. you're playing so as Alex alive. Vance. Correct? Yes. And uh, you see him in the very beginning. It's pretty amazing. And like you probably saw it in the trailer when there's a part where the combine are pointing a gun at you and they're like, "Hands up." Like you actually have to put your hands up like this and shit, oh, that's, and that's it's cool. pretty cool. That's cool. So there's a lot of um, things in the environment. The physics, Valve, you know how Valve is with physics. They're the godfathers of physics, basically. You know, like mm -hmm. good physics in games. And Half Life Alex has by far the best physics I've ever seen in any game ever made. Hands down, nothing compares to it. Nothing compares. Like. I went up to this dead, like, like a guy that had a head crab on him, and I was just dragging him around, and like I picked him up by the head like this, and I was like opening his mouth and shit like Are you this. Serious? Yeah, it was oh, fun. You could like pick them, pick up their bodies, and throw them over the handrails and shit. It's, it's wow. incredible. Like I highly recommend anyone trying it. I do recommend buying the headset. If you, you can find you one. Recently released a video I did, a, yeah. of your headset. Ooh. Is there any footage of? In-game footage in there? Yeah, there is in-game oh, okay. footage in there. Link yeah. in bio. Yeah. That's I'm, on your, your personal It's on my personal YouTube, YouTube channel. Which is yeah. what? Tyler Hacker? Yeah, just look up Tyler Hacker. I'll be the number one dude Link on there. Link in bio, bro. Yeah, Link there you go. Bio. Link in bio. There you go. Thank you very much. Um, uh, There's a part right in the beginning where you start out, you start out on this roof and uh, you're walking around and shit and there's like a glass window and there's a bunch of markers right there so i was like ah fuck it i'm gonna try to pick up one of these markers and draw on the the window you can actually pick up the markers and start drawing on the window when your marker hits the glass in the game your controller vibrates so it that's cool fucking it tricks your brain into like thinking you're actually writing on this window it's, like it's incredible feedback or yeah there's videos of people with the index the valve index 
where there's like pianos in the game and they're literally playing full on like Beethoven and shit in what? game really? in That's VR crazy. with the headset on. Yeah, it's fucking That's insane. Nuts. Or like Lincoln Dude, Park. I, I wouldn't need to get a piano then. I'll, all right, I'm practicing right. piano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. And you can only do that with the index? You can only do that with the index, I think. I mean, you can do basic shit. Like, I don't know how it would work with any other headset. You probably can press like one key on the piano at a time. Whereas the Valve Index, you have full finger functionality, every finger, including your thumb, I think, to play whatever you want on the piano or do whatever the hell you want. The most impressive, that's probably the, one of the most impressive things. The physics, being able to do all that kind of shit with the piano, everything. But the most impressive thing that happens pretty early in the game, so it is kind of a spoiler, but not really. They show it off in the, the trailers. So spoiler alert, if you really don't want to know about the game, uh, you get, so the gravity gun from Half-Life 2 has been now, now been replaced with gravity gloves, mm -hmm. which are probably the most fun part of the entire game so far so it really streamlines the process of like because the physics are so good you can drop things you can have to pick stuff up with the gravity gloves once you get them if you see something in the distance you like point your hand at it like this and it'll kind of highlight and then you just flick your wrist like this and it'll it'll grab them and then you can pull it towards you so if you see ammo on the ground or something like that you just highlight it like that pick it up and then to stash your ammo, you just chuck it over your back like that. So you just pick it up, chuck it. To reload your gun, you shoot, your clip will run out. You press a button on the, the controller, the clip falls out. And then you grab a new clip, put it in. You actually have to cock the gun. The, so the physics are incredible. When a, the, the coolest thing that I've seen for the combat is when the combine throw a grenade at you, you can just suck it out of midair with your gra gravity gloves like that. Ooh. and then throw it right back at them which is Dude. sick so i mean i'm comfortable playing desktop pc or uh, uh video games and I, I still have have the mindset of you know I, I i would prefer to play on desktop but when you're explaining all of this like it's it's just a brand new experience it a totally is. different experience and and like if you if you want to play a game on your desktop um, uh, it's or if you want to play VR, you shouldn't expect a desktop experience. No, it's expect a, just a completely, totally different experience. It's a completely different experience. If you're used to playing consoles with a controller or playing on a PC with a mouse and keyboard or whatever your preferred mm -hmm. uh, peripheral is, I mean, not that there's many more other than mouse and keyboard and a controller. Uh, if you're used to those, imagine. Like when you put a VR headset on, imagine like playing a first person shooter with a mouse and keyboard for the first time. That's basically what it is. It's like picking up something completely brand new. When I played, because I bought my headset back in November, so I bought a bunch of games before that weren't Half-Life uh, just to learn games and get some use out of my headset early on. I bought a game called Pavlov VR, which is basically, it's kind of like Counter-Strike in... Uh, in VR, but mm. much more detailed. Like uh, when you want to aim down <laughs> sights with your gun in a standard desktop shooter, you typically just hit right click and you aim down sights, you know, and it just goes to the same spot every time. Mm -hmm. In Pavlov, you, if you want to aim down sights, you literally have to raise your controllers up and aim down sights. And it's not like you do that and it goes to a predetermined spot. Like it's perfectly aimed up. No, like if you have a scope on your gun, you have to find the perfect spot, like move your hands around and shit like that. Like it's See? fucking detailed. It's crazy. Right. So that, yeah, that goes more to the, it's like a brand new experience. Like you can't go into an FPS like that and expect to move around the way you would just with the mouse and keyboard. Like absolutely not. Like it, yeah. It's a brand new experience. That's awesome. I want to experience it, that. It's incredible. Like when I first played, it was very jarring. I was, I, I sucked. I mean, I still do, but I can go into a game like um, in Pavlov, you're playing against other players. So people that have been playing this shit since it came out are just going to dominate you. But you know, now you, I can go into a match and get a couple kills, you know. You know what we're gonna say? There's there's a VR uh, 
uh, esports. Is there? Yeah, I could have sworn I saw. Yeah, <laughs> those are VR league. It's 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 kind of weird because it shows. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna need to find a picture. They're like all as a team, like in their own rooms and stuff, and they just have their headset. It's weird. Like I, it's it looks totally that is different. Weird. It looks totally different. I don't know how you would practice for that because regular esports guys they practice for hours and hours and hours they'll practice for like eight hours a day and you can't like really how do you do practice for eight hours a day in vr like i that mean was, how what's the what's the practice regimen for like nfl players i don't, honestly don't know would it be would you think they're practicing for eight hours a day no nah, i doubt that maybe i i don't think so all right so it's not not to compare the the physical exertion but it's still physical to be in a vr game so i wouldn't expect them to be able to to practice for eight hours a day like a normal esports player would on desktop no because your arms you and shoulders would get tired and be like all right i don't want to raise my gun anymore <laughs> i mean it's it's essentially like you're you're in military training but without the heavy gear because you're still doing the same movements you're right? still doing a lot of the same movements and and at one point at what point will you be able to uh have like a no strings attached VR headset and you're just like rolling and fucking running around. I don't know. That would be awesome. I Ooh. mean, I, I when really will it become, remember that game uh, or that movie gamer? Oh yeah. With what's his yeah. name? Uh, something Butler, Gerard Butler, Gerard Butler. Yeah. Yeah. That movie. Gamer and the, the other one that came out recently player number one. Yeah. There you go. And when, when will it become like that? That would, be that would be sick. sick. Yeah. That, I mean, maybe in our lifetime, I think we'll we'll start to see that. I really want if you look up a video like VR treadmill or something like that, just go on Google, type in VR treadmill. That's what I want VR oh, yeah. to get to right here. That's fucking sick. The VR esports they That's got like the their whole, own yeah, arenas. If you type in VR treadmill, Steven, there's bring it, up, bring it up on the, the TV, please. <laughs> oh, there's you're talking these, about the, the omnidirectional thing yeah, where you can run. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. an omnidirectional fucking treadmill so no it feels like you you're, run, you're go you go that way exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can turn you can go any direction and move you're like kind of strapped into like the yeah exactly circle, circular thing so it makes it feel like you're actually in the game the alternative without the treadmill which is what 99.9999 percent of vr players are are the level that we're in when you're moving around like you end up you have a cable attached to your head, you know, on the, the headset. So you're moving around. You're going to end up knocking shit around in your room, fucking hitting stuff. I can't tell you how many times I've hit my desk. I've hit something. Like, <laughs> I've hit shit. My have you broken anything? You know, my roommate broke his fucking TV. <laughs> yeah, he hit his TV. <laughs> shit. Yeah. It so, actually uh, broke? Like the screen? Uh, screen broke. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So playing, I can't remember what game. That's I think. hilarious. I think Pavlov VR, but he hit his TV. I was like, fuck, because he had it hanging on the wall. I was like, dude, that fucking sucks. But uh, I haven't broken anything. I've probably put a few nicks in one of my, my bass guitars that's hanging on the oh. wall. Yeah. Um, I haven't hit or broke anything. Hey, Eddie, we got to set hard. it up here. Yeah, that Look, would I'll be sick. Ladies thing. and yeah. gentlemen, boys and girls, yeah. thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Bro Duder. If you would like to hear the rest of this conversation, you're going to have to tune in to next week's episode. We are available on all the major streaming platforms, including Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, anything you can think of. Give us a comment on YouTube. Give us a review on iTunes. All of that bullshit. So once again, guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.